Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to teach you a really cool trick called Ambitious 1234 by Roy Walton. This was first published in a little manuscript called the Paul Bearers Review, Volume 7, in 1972, and it was later published in Card College, Volume 3. There has been a few different uh, variations on it through the years, but uh, the one I'm showing you today is my handling of it, and I think you'll like it a lot. Well, let's get into it. Check this out. On top of the deck, I've got some cards. I've got the Ace, Two, Three, and the Four of Spades. All right, I'll get back to these here in a minute. Uh, for now, let's have a card picked. Uh, just say stop as I run through like this. Stop right there. And let's remember the Five of Diamonds, all right? That Five, we'll put it right there near the bottom, and we'll try to find it here in a minute. For now, we'll do some tricks with those four cards. If you had to pick, uh, which one of these would you want? All right, you know what? We'll let the fate decide. We'll use the dice, all right? So the the ace, perfect. I'll put the ace right there. We'll try something with the two. If I put the two under the three, give it a snap, it jumps right back to the top. We'll watch the same thing with the three, put it under the four, snap, jump to the top. Same thing with the four. This time I'll put it all the way in the bottom, snap, comes to the top. Now, the ace, the one that you picked, does a very special trick. That one actually turns into your card. All right, so here's how you do that. So you start out with the ace through four of any suit on top of the deck, all right? The ace being the very top card, just like this. Now you want to have a card selected and controlled at the top in a way that doesn't disturb the top stock, all right? So the way I do that just with the center double lift. So riffle down, they say stop, riffle off two cards, boom, boom, do the center double, eight of diamonds, and then turn it down and put the fake card somewhere near the bottom like that. Now the situation is that the top card is their card followed by your setup. And that's the only move in the trick. The rest is self-working, which is really nice uh, for this kind of trick, right? So you ask them, you spread off the four cards, which they think is the ace through four, but it's really those cards, but don't show them. And you say, if you had to pick, uh, which one would you want? All right, so here's how you handle each situation. If they say the ace, you just deal it off like this and you go through the sequence of ambitious uh, moves. So you say, watch, we'll take the two, put it under the three, boom, it comes back to the top. Same thing with the three, put it under the four, comes back to the top. The four will put all the way down, jumps right back to the top. And then the ace, the one that you picked, does a special move, does a special trick, turns into your card. If they pick the two, watch you say, look, we'll take the ace, we'll put it under that two, and the ace jumps to the top. We'll take your two, put it right there. Now we'll do the three, we'll put it under the four, jumps to the top. Watch, we'll take the four, put it all the way down, it jumps to the top. Now your two does a very special trick, it actually turns into your card. If they pick the three, it's the same thing. You say, watch, we'll take the ace, put it under the two, jumps to the top. We'll take the two, put it under the three, jumps to the top. We'll take the three, Put it right there, we'll save it for later, and take the four, uh, put it all the way down, and it jumps to the top. And then the three, your three does a very special trick, turns into your card. If they pick the four, everything is the same. You say, watch, we'll take the ace, put it under the two, jumps to the top, take the two, put it under the three, jumps to the top, take the three, put it under the four, jumps to the top, we'll take the four, put it right there. Now the four does a very special trick, and it turns into your card. Alright, so I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching. And until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.